Well, that March jobs number came in well above expectations. For a look at how AI could actually affect the jobs picture long term and maybe a couple stocks to watch, we want to bring in Tyler Radke. He is senior equity research analyst at City Research. Tyler, your point is that this is going to lead to lots of productivity growth, but the downside is it's going to mean we need a lot less, a lot fewer workers. Yeah, good morning. So obviously, generative AI and the whole boom that we're seeing around AI is incredibly exciting. I think the key point is there's a huge amount of uncertainty. We're very early into this journey. Uh, you know, ChatGPT really only became popular about 12, 15 months ago. Uh, these technology cycles will, will play out over multiple years, if not decades. But ultimately, we're in an environment where costs are still under a lot of pressure. Interest rates, as we talked about earlier, are stubbornly high. And so we do think that as companies look to fund these projects, uh, they're going to need to make cuts and, and find cost savings elsewhere. And if you look at things like contact center, call center, uh, developers, there are a lot of really interesting uh, up and coming tools that can help drive a lot of productivity. And ultimately, I think the big question mark is what happens to those those jobs long term. So it's something to watch. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of technology changes that have been predicted to call uh, and disrupt a lot of job markets, and those haven't played out uh, in the past, but uh, certainly something uh, to watch going forward. Your top pick is Microsoft, at least when it comes to the big caps? That's correct. Yes, we like Microsoft, ServiceNow among uh, the larger cap names, and then there's uh, a host of, of smaller cap names uh, that we like on this theme as well. Uh, smaller cap names that maybe don't go into the pink sheets, MongoDB. <laughs> yeah, I would, I'd say that's a that's a little larger than smaller smaller cap. You know, we're we're talking 30, 40 billion uh, market cap. You know, really a, a up and coming uh, next generation database vendor. So as the explosion of data. Uh, rises because of generative AI. You have things like vector databases on the rise. We think MongoDB is well positioned to, to capture uh, a lot of that increasing spend. Okay. Tyler, I want to thank you for your time today. Really great seeing you. Thank you.